Hello there, welcome everybody. It's Diorama Don here. Um, just again, another idea of uh, a diorama if you're considering model making in any way. Uh, you can either buy a plastic kit or you can make yourself. Um, and that's what I prefer to do. Uh, just make uh, models from scratch. Uh, so this is a, again just an, a, an idea and uh, we'll get on with the video and I'll show you how I made it. So I want a bombed building. Uh, this will be the front part and there'll be a side piece with a, an L-shaped path and, and road coming around. Uh, but to start with I need the front of the building. So I've designed what I want the front to look like. Um, so we've got cornerstones or coins coming down the, the side there. Two windows or the remains of two windows. And then this is where the edge of the building has uh, been bombed. And this will be brick and this will be broken plaster or render. So... <laughs> With two millimetre thick cardboard, I've worked out what I want. The size of the building, uh, 135 scale. So I cut away where I want my brick to be. So this is going to be the bricked part. This is going to be the remaining render. So this will be brick, that will be brick, and these parts will be brick leaving just this part as the uh, the plaster or render on the building okay <laughs> then put it all back together again once you've got your bits and pieces mark around a second piece so you've got two pieces this shape now and this then will be the base and this then will be the plaster so this will be brick this will be plaster brick 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 and uh, yeah the problem is when you put your bricks on here uh, it's going to be the same level then as your plaster but but that's not what happens when plaster breaks you see the thickness of the plaster and then the brick so you need a third piece so again, you need to mark out another bit like that. So that will go on there. Then I'll put my bricks on. Then this will be the actual plaster. And it will be proud of the, uh, of the bricks. Okay, I hope that's clear. There will be questions later. <laughs> uh, but I found that to be the easiest way of doing things. So I'll go ahead and put my bricks on and put the, a side piece. So it's like that. It's the shape of the building then. And then uh, I'll do the rest of the path and the road. Uh, but a, a quick um, mention about bricks. There are some very keen-eyed viewers out there uh, tell, telling me I'm doing things all wrong. Um, how I make my bricks, uh, I make it from tile grout. This is um, terracotta colour tile grout. Um, mix it with water, spread it all over. It's like a, a thin butter, if you like, once you've mixed water with it. Spread it all over a, an area, uh, uh, probably a piece of glass or ceramic tile, so that it doesn't stick to that. And then mark out your bricks. So that's what I've done there. I've got millions of bricks there and cost me absolutely no money at all. Or hardly any. Uh, but it's the size of bricks that, are, that is important. So you've got a 135 scale person here. And you've got to imagine him, if I can get one. Okay, bad example. You've got to imagine him holding a brick. So that that's the size that's the size of brick that you need. Doesn't mean if anything bigger than that, and it doesn't look right. 
and I've been accused of making my bricks too big. And uh, looking back, I, you're absolutely right. I, I, when you're cutting these, it's a very long and laborious job doing it, and you tend to make the bricks bigger to get the job, get the job done faster. So I, I've got a, a two millimeter border of uh, card all the way around this ceramic tile, so that when I level off with my steel ruler. The, the, the thickness of the brick tends to be about three millimetres, just a little bit higher than the cardboard. So if you cut bigger than three millimetres, you get that size, which is the size of a brick. It's that high, a bit wider on the top, and then however long you make it. But it means that when you put the, lay the brick, you must really lay the brick that way the orientation would be that way but it's much easier to lay them that way and they look just the same but the orientation is wrong so and pe <laughs> some people have actually pointed this out <laughs> believe it or not so what you need to do is make them into to square bricks so uh, probably three millimeters by three millimetres and then however long you make them which is probably seven millimetres something like that uh, so if they're square then it doesn't matter then how you lay your bricks the orientation is going to be the same either way <laughs> okay so I hope that's made uh, nice and clear so anyway that's my bricks made, nice and small, the right size, the right orientation. Uh, and now I'll finish off uh, the size, the front part and the side part of my building. And we'll come back and carry on from there. Okay, we've got the front of the building done. In fact, we've got all the building done. Uh, I put my bricks on and they're the right size. So if there's... <laughs> A little man, uh, a little bricky, making the uh, the house there. He would pick those bricks up, and that would be about the right size of the brick in his hand. Okay, so we've got the size of the bricks right, and I think you'll agree. I mean, please disagree with me if you think so, but I think that looks like a, a real brick wall because they are bricks. That's what you're making when you use um, tile grout. It's ground up brick. So all you're doing is regurgitating the power, powder back into the shape of a brick. And you can do with it then what you like. Uh, you can, not easy through <laughs> the lens of a camera, but believe me, with a sharp knife, you can take little bits and pieces. If you're, if you're making a, um, a, an ancient kind of brick wall, or an old brick wall that you want to look uh, weathered, you can take bits and pieces out with a sharp knife. Uh, so, uh, and there's no paint. I've, I've not painted anything at all. Um, all I've put is uh, a grey grout between the bricks for the mortar, and then just sponge off afterwards. So, there's a lot of modellers use styrofoam to make uh, a brick wall effect. Now. I think, personally, you would be hard pushed to make bricks this small in styrofoam. I'm not saying I'm not saying it's impossible, um, and, and many modelers do make the right size bricks. But once you've done that, which is a very time-consuming um, operation, then you've got to be a good enough painter to get to get the bricks to look like bricks. You've got to be able to paint the bricks in, in a certain colour and, and to make them look weathered and aged. Whereas, just sticking the damn things on and, and wiping over with a damp cloth, that, that's what you're left with automatically. The right colour, the right shape. Um, so, that's my point that I'm trying to make. Uh, that... Uh, I believe this is a better way of making bricks and more realistic looking. So, <laughs> to move on. So I put my bricks on. 
then I put that first layer of render on which made it level all the way across then I put the second layer on which gives me that um, lip step or where you can see that the plaster has been broken and also in there okay so it looks more realistic now all I've done is put coins down the side here again a long and laborious job but it's got to be done so individual pieces of two millimeter cardboard on both sides there uh, a bit of a architrave type um, architectural feature on the top bit in the middle and this uh, piece along the, the front there so all that remains to be done is for this to be painted so a different color for the actual remaining render and then a different color again for these uh, architrave architrival uh, effects so I'll go ahead now and finish the whole building by the way um, I put half inch polystyrene on the backing to give the thickness of the wall uh, then just picked it off well just picked it off really to give that shape and then uh, put a coat of um, watered down wall filler and now all I'll do is sprinkle some broken pieces of these bricks along this uh, broken part of the house and uh, that will give the impression then of the broken brick wall so I'll go ahead and finish the whole house and then we'll get on with the path and the road so again back in just one moment finish the house off now then um, painted it up although I may weather it a little more it's still a little bit a uh, little bit new so put a couple of window frames in and for the broken wall I just the bricks that I'd made for the front I just broke them up and uh, put on the side there and that represents the broken wall quite nicely okay so that's the house done um, I made the base for it uh, put a cobbled road cobbled street in and the uh, the corner pavement so the house will sit there and then I'll just put a telegraph pole in there and just one or two sundry items just to finish off the whole thing and I'll be back and we'll see what it looks like when it's completely finished okay so finished the project off now um, put plenty of rubble on the front and round the back of the house there um, the telegraph pole I made in a previous video if you're interested please refer to that um, I think it worked out pretty well it's a, a, a decent looking uh, diorama to to uh, present your military vehicle whatever it is uh, so again just an idea and very easy and extremely inexpensive to make uh, so uh, with that said thank you very much for watching the video uh, please subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell and then click the all button and you will be notified when new videos come along. Um, just different ideas of presenting your military models, that's all. <laughs> that's all I do, nothing more. Okay, so again, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next. And as always, I wish you the very best of happy modelling.